Um, so um, my name is Nikki McFarlane and I am um, the primary care facilitator um, in South East London. And I'm just going to literally tell you very quickly um, about the Florence Nightingale Foundation scholarships. Um, and they're a little bit different, I think, to the other two um, that you've just heard. And they're, they're, they're probably not as structured um, and they're... Um, they're, they're, they're around a QI project. So um, you have a, um, a QI project in mind um, when you apply for the scholarship. Um, and then you, you get a mentor that's given to you who helps you to develop that, um, that project idea. Um, so the scholarships begin each year in, in May. They run for about 18 months. There are several types of scholarships. So do go on the website to have a look. There are leaderships ones, travel scholarships and um, digital scholarships. They're open to all nurses and midwives who are working um, at equivalent of band seven and above. Um, and yeah, like I say, they, they revolve around a QI project. Um, and my particular one was um, looking, I was the lead nurse at the time for chemotherapy in a hospital in North London. And I was looking at developing um, online training resources, um, both for patients and for um, staff. And so part of my scholarship was um, traveling to, and part of all the scholarships is that you get the opportunity to um, travel to another, well, I went to another country, um, you can do it in this country, um, but to learn basically from leaders um, in their, in, a, in the, an expert in the field. Um, so I went to North Carolina um, in, um, to Duke, um, Duke Cancer Centre um, and learned from them and was able to bring back that learning and use that to um, inform my own project. You do have to write up the projects. Um, so they either have to be published as a journal, um, a journal article or um, as a poster for a conference or an abstract for a conference. And together with um, developing your QI project, there is a, a number of sort of interventions in the scholarships, like there are um, there is a, a leadership course. Um, so you go on a residential um, that's that is a bit more structured and does have some of more of that formal leadership training um, about, you know, and some of the um, the the bits behind the leadership and change management and different styles of um, leadership. You do get the 360, as, as was mentioned before by the others, and Myers-Briggs um, evaluate personality um, evaluation. Um, and you um, you also get as you get the chance to travel um, to another centre um, and you get some workshops from the King's Fund and workshops from RADA, which is the Royal Academy for Dramatic Arts, um, just about how to um, how to release your potential, um, how to present yourself, how to um, manage your own impact. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll come to a close because I know we, we run out of time. Um, but I think the benefits, just quickly, the benefits for me were really about the peer support um, that it enabled for me and the networking opportunities. Um, I never really and still probably don't. And I have that imposter syndrome, I think, that was mentioned before. Um, don't really think of myself as a leader, but you learn a lot from the programme um, that enables you to be a leader. Um, and it's not always as as um, structured as you think being a leader. Um, it's about being able to implement changes and um, and uh, and enabling um, enabling and empowering, I think was one of the things that Joe said as well. Um, so uh, some of the opportunities um, are up on the screen there um, about career development and personal development. You get support from the foundation. Um, you get to be part of an alumni um, and um, and, and yeah, and as, as some one of the other speakers said, you get friends as well because you're part of, of a group. So you get friends that that you learn from and that become yeah part of your part of your network as well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll finish there. And but if there are any other questions, and obviously I'm happy to happy to answer those.